Hello, my name is Jamie, and I will be showing you guys how to put the Orbiter 2 extruder with an Ender 5 specifically. Everything I found online so far with the uh, getting it to work with any of the Creality stuff is always the Ender 3 or the CR, one of the CR systems where the belt is basically on top and, and they're using some sort of big custom made housing for the fans and stuff like that. And, my system is really basic. All right, I'm still using the big block, black box that came with it uh, way back, you know, two, three years ago. So I'll show you how to install it under that. Some of the mistakes I made and things I would have done differently for you when you install it, maybe you can learn from my mistakes. So first of all, let me show you what, what all the players of the equipment that we're gonna need. Okay, so the things that you'll need for this build. One is obviously the Orbiter 2. So buy that at Amazon or wherever you want to buy it, you know, whatever floats your boat. The next thing you need is this bracket. I got this on Amazon as well. And if you notice the description, it says it's for the Orbiter 1.5. And I thought to myself, eh, it probably has the same base, it should work, even though it, I'm getting the version two, I was wrong. So therefore I ended up having to create and design this adapter, which I'll put in the description below, to help it hold on to the uh, the, the, the bracket. Now, the last few things that you're going to need are a series of JST connectors. Now, there are a bunch of different kinds out there. The ones that you'll need is the PH version 2 six pin male adapter. This connects onto the cable from your extruder so you can connect it to the, uh, the or orbiter. And then you have the JST-XH 2.54 uh, 4-pin uh, male adapter or the module and that connects actually onto your orbiter okay and then you splice wires between the two male connectors to connect the orbiter to your existing extruder wires now if you're not comfortable with creating this kind of uh, connection of splicing or creating JST connectors, the Orbiter 2 might not be the product for you because you definitely need to do this, okay? I'm comfortable with it, so it's not a big deal. But as of now, there is no adapter that goes from the PH 6-pin uh, adapter to uh, the XH 4-pin uh, adapter, uh, male to male, uh, that exist. Now, maybe I'll make some and then sell them online for Ender 5 users. I don't know. If you're interested, hit me up, we'll work something out. On my particular setup that I'm going to show you, I'm actually using JST-SM connectors instead of the PH version 2 connectors, uh, mainly because I already had these laying around and no sense in buying uh, six pin connectors for one particular job that I'll never use a bunch of them ever again. So that's why it's going to look a little different than uh, what I've been instructing you to do. All right, so, but if you have other JST connectors laying around, you should actually just use them because obviously you're comfortable with splicing these things together. And the last thing you need, obviously, is the 12, 24 gauge wire to connect the two male co connectors. And once you've got that, you should be good to go. And so let's continue on. Okay, so let's see how this thing is attached. As you can see, Underneath here, that's my bracket that I bought, okay? Now this is made for a 1.5 or version 1.5 of the Orbiter. I did not know that when I bought it. So the thing is, the screw holes do not line up. So the metal screw hole for this is actually right about here where the bevel is. So obviously that's not gonna work. And the screw hole for the Orbiter is way back here. If you go down, there's no screw hole underneath this metal plate. So I created this little thing, okay? And you can see a little nub in there. It actually uh, attaches to the, the screw hole and it snaps into place. So I got a nub at the bottom and a nub at the top. Um, so it snaps into the screw hole on this and underside so it doesn't go anywhere. Now, why didn't I just 3D print a new uh, adapter? Well, first of all, this is metal it's not going to warp over the heat inside this inside this uh, container here that I've uh, enclosure okay number two 
I do actually have one screw in here, if you can see it. Uh, I don't know if you can see it there. There it is. Um, so I do have a screw in there. And what I like about this is if I need to get into here, into the hot end, to you know, shove something out, if it's something got jammed, I can just turn this across like this, and now I have access to that PTFD E-tube right there. And as you can see, there's the hole. I don't know if you can see it, but there's the hole for the screw for the 1.5 version mount. So I set that there, and then lock this in place. Now I'll put this in uh, on Thingiverse so you can print that up and uh, be cool with it. As for the wiring, so the wiring for this, as you know, it comes from underneath here. And we'll look at this one because it's the exact same type of wiring here. Okay, try to focus in here. Okay, so what that is, is a JST PH uh, connector. And it's a six pin, but there's only four wires that we need. As you can see, it's skipping a few holes there. So we only need four of the six holes. The problem is what comes at the end of our our, our, uh, our uh, orbiter two is this one, which is a four pin JST HX connector, which means it's a little bit bigger than that, okay? So both in size and the pin out are also uh, slightly bigger, okay? So what I did is I created this little adapter, all right? So I've got a bunch of JST connectors here. And because I'm cheap, I use the SM connectors at this end and connected it up to my existing extruder wires. Now, why did I use these instead of another JST uh, HB connector? Because I'm cheap and I didn't have one and I had a bunch of these laying around, so I went with this. Now, the wiring, which you'll see here, uh, blue and yellow go together, green and red go together. Now, as you can see here, this is all black. How do you know which wire it goes to? But believe it or not, there is a way of indicating on how these go together. And I'll throw up a diagram, but I'll show you real quick. If we zoom into here, let me try to if you can zoom in. See those little dash marks? Long dash, 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 short dash, tiny dash, tiny dash. That's how you're going to determine which wire goes to which color of the orbiter extruder. Well, that's it. That's pretty much how I put the Orbiter 2 on my Ender 5. If you have any questions, post them down in the comments and I will try to get back to you. Until next time, see you around and have a good day.